Analytical Chemistry 2.0 by David Harvey. Chapter 4. Section 4G. Detection Limits. The International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, IUPAC, defines a method as detection limit as the smallest concentration or absolute amount of analyte that has a signal significantly larger than the signal from a suitable blank. Although our interest is in the amount of analyte, in this section we will define the detection limit in terms of the analyte S signal. Knowing the signal you can calculate the analyte S concentration, CA, or the moles of analyte, NA, using the equations, SA is equal to KA times CA, or SA is equal to KA times NA, where K is the method S sensitivity. Let us translate the IUPAC definition of the detection limit into a mathematical form by letting SMB represent the average signal for a method blank and letting sigma MB represent the method blank as standard deviation. The null hypothesis is that the analyte is not present in the sample and the alternative hypothesis is that the analyte is present in the sample. To detect the analyte, its signal must exceed SMB by a suitable amount. Thus, SA DL is equal to SMB plus Z times sigma MB. Well, SA DL is the analyte S detection limit. The value we choose for Z depends on our tolerance for reporting the analyte S concentration, even though it is absent from the sample, a type 1 error. Typically, Z is set to 3, which, from Appendix 3, corresponds to a probability, alpha, of 0.00135. As shown in figure 4.16a, there is only a 0.135% probability of detecting the analyte in a sample that actually is analyte-free. A detection limit also is subject to a type 2 error in which we fail to find evidence for the analyte, even though it is present in the sample. Consider, for example, the situation shown in figure 4.16b, where the signal for a sample containing the analyte is exactly equal to SA, DL. In this case the probability of a type 2 error is 50%, because half of the signals arising from such samples are below the detection limit. We will correctly detect the analyte at the IUPAC detection limit only half the time. The IUPAC definition for the detection limit indicates the smallest signal for which we can say, at a significance level of alpha, that an analyte is present in the sample. Failing to detect the analyte does not imply that it is not present in the sample. The detection limit is often represented, particularly when discussing public policy issues, as a distinct line separating detectable concentrations of analytes, that concentrations that cannot be detected. This use of a detection limit is incorrect, as suggested by figure 4.16. For concentrations of analyte near the detection limit there is a high probability of failing to detect the analyte. An alternative expression for the detection limit, the limit of identification minimizes both type 1 and type 2 errors. The analyte S signal at the limit of identification, SA, LOI, includes an additional term, Z sigma ray, to account for the distribution of the analyte S signal. SA, LOI is equal to, SA, DL, plus Z, times sigma ray, which is equal to, SMB, plus Z, times sigma MB, plus Z times sigma ray. As shown in figure 4.17, the limit of identification provides an equal probability for type 1 and type 2 errors at the detection limit. When the analyte S concentration is at its limit of identification, there is only a 0.135% probability that its signal will be indistinguishable from that of the method blank. The ability to detect the analyte with confidence is not the same as the ability to report with confidence its concentration, or to distinguish between its concentration and two samples. For this reason the American Chemical Society S Committee on Environmental Analytical Chemistry recommends the limit of quantitation, SA, LOQ, SA, LOQ is equal to, SMB, plus 10 times sigma MB,